Zainab, I really wanted to talk to you today about like what inspires you. Uh, usually, I mean, inspiration like if you walk outside, it will be like just you see the nature. Oh my goodness, it's, uh, whatever they have here, like the season different. But I would like to share some experience that I have with recent client. Okay. Uh, it was like really for me, like we started for something so small. The client, she, she has like uh, really, what you call it, like uh, uh, classic house. Mm -hmm. And they were like really looking for to keep, to uh, update their kitchen, but just to keep the theme because they have open concept, but so tradition house. And uh, we started from the pillow that they have, and the furniture, and the fabrics that they have, and just because she loved that furniture, some of them is coming from her mother and father, so a lot of history there, mm -hmm. and we start from there, and she, we, I took the uh, photos of the pillows, mm -hmm. and whatever the color theme they have it there, and just all coming like flowers, green, red, it's exactly like the nice when you go outside working, the tree, uh, flowers, and yeah. there. Yeah. And we started uh, creating our design for the kitchen, backsplash, caveat, everything accordingly to that uh, fabric. <laughs> Such amazing experience it was. Yes, and it was awesome. I know, <laughs> and the, the fun about that, the client also she wants to uh, reflect that print of the uh, pillows okay. fabric to be on her backsplash so she can enjoy it and she can yeah. like use it. I mean, like, because you know, the kitchen is the heart of the house. Yeah. And we, and she said, I want pattern to be flowers and to match on the words of wood fan. And the other innovations were the sea, it will be just reflected to blend in. Mm -hmm. So it was a challenge, but such a beautiful experience I had with mm -hmm. them. And we made it together, and mm -hmm. the client hopefully we're gonna do the construction soon. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the inspiration. Usually we go like when we meet the client first time, we say, hey, what I have to look at? So always we say budget, scope, uh, and schedule, timeline. Mm -hmm. But more important, we need to focus about the, what the client, I mean the history they have, what the client they have, because at the end, this is their house. And all what we are, because we are professional, just we have to make their dream come true. Yes. So that is our goal, yeah. Yeah. which is it's, the fun. It, it's like, the, it really is the most um, engaging part of the process for me, is sort of learning with the client and what they, you know what what they really love and the pieces in the home that they have that really yeah. speak to them and and why you know overlooking at you know pictures or house pictures you right. know it's it, it can be more fun it's more of an adventure really to kind of start with an object like you said I mean yeah. that's just that's people don't think about it that it right. could be that that you could yeah. be inspired from a pillow but you you can yeah I don't feel like yeah. the history so now like we are so yeah. good relation like a friend now with the client because we established mm -hmm. this one together so we know that kitchen is for her not for any other project right. it's amazing yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome I love that and then it just makes it so much easier I mean it is a job what we do, right? But yeah. I mean, it, but it does so not fun. feel yeah. like a job at all. It is not. It is not. Yeah. I mean, each day is different. This is the beauty yeah. about our like design work. Like mm -hmm. each day, you inspire you. Like, you are like driving. You are like making friends or something, and like small things we could make it bigger thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. And you know, I I so enjoyed working with you. I mean, it just makes it so much of a joy to come to the office and like be able to collaborate. Mm -hmm with somebody that you sort of has a like mind and you know we can kind of do you're working on your projects and I'm working on my projects but then we, we share, you know, we share exactly. the ideas of what do you think about this and yeah. you know like well, have you thought about that and then I think that really I mean it's enriching our experience it's enriching our lives but really it's enriching the design outcome for the client as well I mean they just totally benefit from awesome. from us to be able to collaborate like us together and the rest of our team I mean course, it's yeah. just such an awesome experience amazing huh? yeah um, so when we start the project and we go and see the client, I mean, some of the things that are really, really important for them, like what, what do they need to have ready for us when they meet us? Like, so we talk to, so scheduling, like if that's important to them, I need to get it done by a certain time, like I need it for Christmas. Right. Like, a budget, obviously, right. like we need to know right. what their budget is. And also we need to know that their style, what they're looking yeah. for, and if they're going to live in that place, they're going to leave, mm -hmm. because this is when we need to update our construction company, because we are a design book company. So usually we have like different departments, but at the end we're all working together. Mm -hmm. So we have to get all the information, and we know like, I mean, as we mentioned, the schedule is so important, because right away we need to know, update the project manager about that, so they will be aware that mm -hmm. they're living in this place. And especially when kitchen, there is everything there, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And uh, yeah, and later after that, when we start with the client, we have like more of a communication. Yeah. Because the client, the more respect, I mean, as much you communicate with them and you're available, and you answer their questions. I mean, at the end, we have to take all the stress from the client. We're like a yeah. sponge for them, right? Yeah. So, because we, we know construction is not an easy, it is a fun for mm -hmm. us, but at the end, it's more stressful to the client. Yeah. So we will take, because we're the professional, mm -hmm. So what we do, we take all the stress from them and we will, as much we can communicate, give them the details, we share with them, I mean, the, all the specs for the materials, mm -hmm. and we are so transparent with the client, whatever we have, the prices, the quotation, everything, we share with them, see their feedback, I mean, how about if we go a little higher on this, we go lower on that budget, yeah. so just like, I mean, this is what I learned in my all like career, uh, just we have to give the trust to the client that yeah. this is their project, like our projects. Yeah. And we were, I mean, like really we want the best for them. Yeah. So whatever we feel that would fit them properly, we will, and the client, like they're so smart and they will understand and they will feel right away. Yeah. And that's where we establish that nice relation, it will be like family work together. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that's so all about the goal, right? Yeah, I mean, it really, it really becomes a real, a real connection, you know. Yeah. You really you you talk a lot about things that are really personal about the functionality of your space, and so it does become a really personal yeah. relationship. And it, it, you know, again, I'm saying like it, it is a job, but it's something like for me, and I know for you too, like it's it's our passion, right? It's like a we passion. Just, it's we so just live it. this, we breathe it. Like you said, you drive yeah. and you see things, or you go to a cafe and you see things. Like you just are always taking in all. That is around you. I know. I drive my husband crazy when we're watching movies. I'm always looking behind yeah, the people yeah, talking. Exactly. Like, oh, did you see that kitchen? And oh, did you see? Did you see this amazing pillow? Or whatever. That's true, that's true. I'm always looking at those things. He's like, but well, what did that guy just say? I don't know what he said. That's, but that pillow was amazing. <laughs> For me, that, that's uh, an experience. And also, like, fun, as you mentioned about the TV show, I remember me with my family. We were looking at the suit in the TV show. Oh yeah. And yeah. later, Harvey Specter with his uh, apartment and the backstage there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I forgot about everything. Just I'm looking about the. So I thought, oh, that's I can do that. I mean, I thought about the years ago when yeah. we started there. So yeah, small things will guide you to bigger things, yeah. and uh, it's nice how to connect these old things together. So interior design is such a beautiful uh, career. I mean, I advise that people they will really have passion. They can go because it's a lot of it's so wide. Mm -hmm. So you can go like just for finishing. You can go like face decoration. You can go like just small fabrics or something and. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fun is to work with colors. Yeah. Right? Oh, I yeah. know. I think that yeah. um, if we and me and you have worked together the carpet and fabric. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. And I'm like, I just feel so excited right now too because I think that in the design world, um, much to maybe some people's uh, dismay, I think that we are moving away from that like gray. The gray or going to the warm color. Going into the warm colors, yeah. and it does make me kind of happy that yeah. we can like explore things that have more it's texture and the pattern one. and. Yeah, so I think that I think that that's a trend that we're yeah. going to be seeing. You know, I believe so. I believe so too. <laughs> <laughs>